Hey and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will be going over how to update multiple selected objects at a time with some simple scripting. Great for example if you have a bunch of duplicated objects or lights and you want to add attributes or change them quickly. For this tool we will be doing a simple loop which in this example is going to execute a set of commands for each item in the list of selected objects. So to get started let's go ahead and open up the script editor. In a fresh python tab we just want to go ahead and import the Maya commands. So type import Maya.cmds as cmds. The next thing we want to do is create a variable which is a container for storing values. We don't need to declare a variable in Python like some other languages. All we need to do is give it a value. So we can type selection equals cmds.ls open and close round brackets, selection equals true with a capital T. What the Maya command ls does is it returns the name of the object in the scene, but we're using the selection filter set to true, so we will only return the names of what we have selected. If we go ahead and just print selection, just with everything selected as we have now, and by the way to run the script you just need to select the code and hit control enter and you can see it's returning the names of each item in the list. In a minute we'll be able to iterate through each item and perform some commands, but first we won't go too much into validating our object types since this is gonna be a super simple script and with the way I usually use it, I know the object type I have selected and I know the attributes I want to adjust. So I won't put validation to check if it's only lights or meshes for example, but what we can do is validate a selection has at least been made. So we can type, just going ahead and import sys sys, if not selection, colon, and then hit an enter with an indent, we can put print, please make a selection. And then on a new line, we can put sys dot exit, open and close round bracket. This basically means that if not selection, i.e. the list is empty, print, please make a selection, and then exit the code, so nothing beyond this point will execute. If we just run that, we can see what it does. Even better yet, we can change the print to cmds.warning, and now when we get this error, we will get a little message pop up at the bottom, which is just a little better integrated than just printing. Now for the loop, we can type for object in selection, colon, object can be anything, so let's actually just call it light for this example, since that's what I'm working with. Like with our if statement, within this loop you're going to want to have an indentation and we can type cmds.set capital A TTR for attribute, open and close round bracket. The set attribute command allows us to set attributes and if we go ahead and make a change on the color attribute of one of the lights, it's going to give us a lot of information about what we actually need. You can see it's showing us the mel command and we can see the format, the attribute name and the values it's getting passed. So within the round brackets we first want to tell the script what light and attribute we want to set. Because we are looping through a list of the selection, we know light is going to be the single name from the list. So we can type light plus, and then in quotes, dot color. So with that plus, we are connecting the value held in light with the string dot color. And now we want to tell it the values we want to set the attributes to. So we can just type comma space one comma zero comma zero, which is the color, and then just another comma type equals and then in quotes, double free. I'm pretty sure we can not include the type and things will work just fine, but it just tells Maya we're passing an array of three doubles, which in this instance is RGB values. So if we go ahead and run this, each light that is selected, we set the attribute color on the light to red. So you can see they've all now been updated. And of course we can make them a different color, and grab a different selection to apply only to those lights. Things start to get more powerful as we start to add multiple commands to the loop. For example, let's change the decay setting. 
As we did before, we can make changes on one of the lights to get the information we need. And let's also do the emit diffuse also, just as kind of an extra. So let's go ahead and add these commands to our for loop. We can just go ahead and copy the decay rate attribute name and paste that into our set attribute command. For drop downs, the values are numbered. The first item is zero, the second is one and so on. So if we want linear, we know that has a value of one and we can just pass that like this. For the checkboxes, it's binary. So zero is off and one is toggled on. So to turn it off, we know we want to set the value to zero. Running this, you can see all our selected lights get these new attribute values. And hopefully this is starting to make a lot more sense. I really do recommend checking out some more of Maya's commands as there's really a lot you can do rather than setting the attributes like we have been doing. You could always link many lights to one light's attributes. So as you make changes on one light, it automatically is linked and updates the other connected lights, which could be a alternative solution. But yeah, this is a super easy way to adjust your objects. And I think this technique can be applied to a lot of use cases, obviously not just to apply attributes. It could be renaming, exporting, assigning texture files, really literally anything as you get a better understanding of the commands available. Hopefully this was an interesting video and it's something I find helpful to know. I have some scripts and other resources available on Patreon if you want to check them out. Also, let me know in the comments if there's anything else Python related you'd like me to try and cover on the channel. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.